now because I need them to come back. Hey, you look pretty good for you. <laughs> hey, do you remember Iron Man? I bought you this costume on board it on the Friday and, <laughs> and then on the Saturday, I you were doing your homework as well. I used to love doing our homework together. Oh, and there's the mask, remember? And the next morning, so on the Saturday you went to, it was holiday time, so it must have been a Friday. And on the Friday, you and Emily went into the um, sports club where we had, was it Emily's fifth birthday, you know, with all the inflatables and everything. And you went in, and there was a soccer club for you, and I don't know what Emily was doing. Um, and you both went in wearing superhero costumes, and you came home with your mask, didn't you? <laughs> Every time you went and played football, now I think about it, you came home and had something, didn't you? Remember, because the Sunday, the, that Sunday when we you first did the football club on the sports field at the school there on the Sunday, well, that was a brand new coat. That was the first time you ever wore that. It was a pretty chilly day. You were in goal, weren't you? And, uh, and you put your coat down and wait, <laughs> never saw that again. I did go back the next day just in case someone sort of put it at me, you know, a goalpost or something. I can't remember if I turn the other camera on. Well, let's go on. Wander over. Yeah, it's been recorded for 1 minute 28 seconds. Emily, reading one of my books. What great taste you have. Man, I can't see the words here at all. Okay, so I've got to go vanity. <gasps> I mean, I can't see the words. I think they say lyrics or words then, so I think I see the words. And, uh, or I can do it this way, when I can see the words, but I look like garbage. What I might do is I might just... I don't even know why I use the microphone, really. Well, actually, I do this time, because I want to use a soft focal one. Because when I used to play on stage, I'd be all over the shop like this, you know, just walking around. Cables <laughs> going everywhere, like, you know. <laughs> It's no good getting to the front and uh, getting a good seat for me because I would just go off and talk to the people at the back like that. So while the bridge is burning and it's the key of E, I'm just going to reacquaint myself with the lyrics while I do an intro. 212! I've got to work out an arrangement. I want to do it slow, didn't I? It's going to be hard not to build up to the speed that I used to play at. 212! Yeah. 
stands aloft, insisting my flags explode. Betraying us to others who could have changed course in the light. Forgetting all that I had learned, but never asking why. As alarm bells smiles flash in the dark, like shooting stars in the sky. Disgusted, the weary seek some place to hide while businessmen draw bayonets to the children by their side and jewel tooth oxen auctioneers insist that they decide. Impressed by none, I turned away. Desperate 
deserted mystery curled into a moan and cries I'm falling to his knees he prays to God that he denies asking only for a second chance to repair severed ties unbalanced and distracted the artist destroys his creation Sounds of past incriminations and all demanding as a bridge is burning. Blindfold refugees return to age old ways of chance, denying bloodlust hunters whose choice is in their own hands. Unhailed at last from freedom. Stay to other lands. The misplaced prima donna gazes skyward and she states that liberty is just a line served best on empty plates. But a rainbow words like thoughts deferred are always out of place. And far away, another bridge is burned. <laughs> Super cool dude. Uh, the coolest boy on the planet. Can you see the microphone down there? Oh, that was uh, when I bought you. That's your bed, remember? When I bought you this Spider Man. I think it's still there now, isn't it? This must be the first day of your tablet, Emily. And this is you taking photographs, I think. <laughs> there you go, that's your bed in behind there. That's your play dead. <laughs> Mr. Elephant up there, Dill. Thankfully, I've got so many photos of Mr. Elephant. <laughs> I love this look here. Daddy, I'm just drinking that milk before I go to school. He's up with the photographs. I kind of threw myself off there a little bit. Threw myself off a cliff. There was one photo there, Emily. I don't know if you uh, saw it, but uh, <laughs> you were sitting on on the inflatable unicorn libel. Now, we, we went to um, the place with the ball pits. I don't want to advertise them, but you know, you're at the start there with, um, with Bertie, or Raz from dance school. I think that is your bear from the dance school there. Gather around people, hear my tale. Something you went down, it won't go stale. My memories are fresh, yesterday. They're so in, they'll go, no. <laughs> Doing that too fast, I was going to do a talk move there. Yeah. She's on seventh. Well, someone trends and they'll never, never go away. No way. Well, then we do a winter place where the balls are going and foam will face them. Had a good time all day long. And mom said to me, Daddy, something's wrong. I go home and I ain't got a unicorn. I said, Emily, well, don't you fret, I'll get you one tomorrow, can you wait yet? And then it will be the place to go where I have it delivered, won't be slow. She says, <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry, my brain is being flooded with, a night with me and Steve Ford playing guitar. Anyway, anyway, so I bought you this. So we went to this place and they got these inflatable um, creatures in. I think there was a sheep and of course you like the unicorn. Is it going to come up again? Oh, God. So, um, so I bought you one of these inflatable unicorns, even though you were like two years too old for it, you know. <laughs> but no, you wanted one, so I bought you one. And we bought Maddie one, didn't we, as well, for her birthday, yeah? Remember Maddie's birthday? I think we bought an inflatable unicorn for her birthday, sorry. Because Maddie came around and she left it and you were sitting down. You were <laughs> but you'd use it as a seat, so you would just be sitting here. I wish it would come back into view, but... Uh, so, and so you just sit on the carpet, sit there on this unicorn, and you'd be munching away on sweets and stuff like that. Sorry, all my little sparrows are distracting me. <laughs> and uh, what was the brown one that I bought? I got another one for Dylan as well, although he was way too big for him. We just had to have one. Have that. <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> I'm not parsimonious, but this inflatable unicorn was not cheap, you know. And you enjoy it, and you would be popped <laughs> I mean, you know, you could have walked to London and back fast, and but you would bounce it down the hall, like, you know, strength up on this inflatable unicorn and everything. But you used to... <laughs> you used to nibble on its horn, you know. And you got a monk, lang, 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 you know. I think you must be part beaver and I swear, you know, just yesterday we were talking on the phone and you were eating Dylan's drumsticks. And I, so, so, one day you were sitting So one day you were sitting on this I went and I came back in and it was just going down. You bit through the horn and punked and it was thick rubber, you know, or latex or whatever it was made of, you know. Because obviously it had to withstand the weight of, you know, five and six year old dancing. <laughs> I was just getting, getting lower and lower and lower. But you were determined. You were going to hang on in there like, you know, so serene. I mean, I just, what were you thinking? If I, if I act like nothing's happening, perhaps you won't notice. <laughs> All of a sudden there's a uniform pile <laughs> on, the, on the floor. On the floor there. Oh, no. Uh, thank God for the memories. That's my dear one.